bad battery, not wanting to pay $115 for a new 18 volt or be without your battery for a month? Well, welcome to Batterex. Let me be your guide to walk you through the jungle of choices available to you. If you follow my lead, look above and click the start button to begin. Follow this guide to pick out the battery repair kit that best fits your needs. First of all, there are two different sizes of replacement cells. As with life, the 80-20 rule holds true. 80% are full size, 1 and 5 eighths inches high, and 20% are 4 fifths, 1 and 1 quarter inch high. How can you tell which one you need? Here's a couple of examples. Full size and 4 fifths. If the outside measures about 1 and 7 eighths inches or over, it's full size. Anything lower is 1 and 3 quarters. The laws of physics apply. It's just not going to fit. Remember, almost all battery cases are secured with a Torx tamper-proof screw. Your kit will include the proper wrench. Now that we know the size, next we need to know your application for the amperage. The amperage that came standard with your tool is probably 1.7 amps. That is good for everyday use such as drilling, driving fasteners, and normal job site applications. We provide as our standard battery 2.1 amps, equivalent to an upgraded DeWalt XRP battery. However, this amperage is absolutely the most common type bought and sold. It accounts for well over 90%. However, some uses entail a long, steady drain on the battery. Some examples would include a circular saw, a Roomba, or RC cars. Those would use 3.2 amp nickel metal high drive. The installation is the same for you for both, so it's up to you. Now we know what amperage and size you need, follow the chart further down for your voltage. Voltage is printed on the outside of the battery case, or if in most job site tools it's painted a contractor's color or an off, simply look at the number of cells, multiply by 1.2, so 4 cells, 4.8 volts, 15 cells, 18 volts. Now at the next portion of the page, click on either nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride. Let's assume we need an 18 volt nickel cadmium. Click here. This will take you to a page with a picture with four categories. We are looking for the rechargeable battery repair kit. Click on full size. This takes you to a different page with different available voltages. Click on yours and add it to your cart. Now you can either check out or continue shopping. That page spells out exactly what the kit includes. Let me show you how easy it is to connect our product with no heat and no solder, yet a foolproof 100% mechanical connection. When you receive your battery rebuild kit, the batteries will come both singly and in pairs, marked positive and negative. All connections should be made positive to negative. The temporary stickers should be peeled off so the battery looks as so. A nickel barbell should be placed between the positive and negative, centered on the star, and the arms folded, like so, for a foolproof mechanical connection. There are a few variations of the sub-C configuration. Straight and offset are both connected in series using exactly the same materials. We showed you the power tool offset connection, now the straight series for RC cars. Here's the standard barbell and either a pair or single cell. Put a crease in the middle of the barbell so it looks as so. You can do this with a pair of needle nose pliers. Place one end in the center of the star on the positive end and connect to the other side which should be negative and fold the arms. Bend in half. Some configurations require a cell across the bottom. Take the single cell and place it between the two 90 degree bent barbells. Place in between and fold the arms and you're all set.